Interesting. There's a gender difference in the power law distribution of wiring in the cortex, which is in the typical female brain, if this is the power law distribution, and in a male brain, it's a little steeper. Male brains are more modular in their wiring. What's the biggest part of the brain? Okay, we're running out of space here. There it is. There's the brain in cross-section. And you've got cortex here and cortex there. And famously, here's all the cell bodies. And when projections are going from one hemisphere to the other, it goes across this huge bundle of axons called the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum is thicker in women than in men, on the average. It is thicker in females than in males because the power law pattern is such that there are more long distance connections in female networks, and thus it's a thicker corpus callosum. The same thing is playing out with connections like this and connections, but this is the big honker one. You get a thinner corpus callosum in men you get an even thinner course of corpus callosum in people with autism. Again, that hyper male notion there of Baron Cohn's, what you have here is perfectly normal number of neurons, probably even perfectly normal number of connections between the neurons, but they're more local, they're more isolated in the autistic cortex, there's less integration of function. It's more isolated islands of function there. 